All right, welcome to the wonderful world of After Effects. This is a great program to make it look like you're doing amazing things, even if you're doing something incredibly non-amazing. So um, I opened up After Effects. It's an Adobe product. I'm going to click New Project. And really, it looks like there's nothing there, and that's because there is nothing there. Instead of just starting to type or whatever, we have to actually create something first. We need to create a composition. So come up here to Composition and go to New Composition. And I'm going to call this one Bolts. Uh, KC, because I think I already have a bolt. And down here, I'm going to take a look at duration. I'm going to leave it at about four seconds. You could always come in here and switch this later if you want to, but I can tell you right now, you're probably going to use about three to five seconds. So, this is the background color. Not that that's going to matter because we're going to have a video clip on there. So, you're going to click OK. Now it's starting to look a little bit more like a composition. Um, so, here's our project panel over here. These are the items we have in it, which is pretty much nothing right now. These are some effects and ways to make it look awesome. And this is your timeline down here. So let's um, take something, a really kind of mellow, boring clip, and make it look awesome. So here's my clip right here. Now you could always go to File, Import, and go to File. Or if you had more than one file, you could do multiple files. But if you want to really be easy, minimum input, maximum output, pick up your file, drag it right in, and look at that. There it is. So what I want to do before I put this in the timeline is I want to make sure it's the right size and I want to make sure that I'm only using the amount of video space that I need to because these are really big files. So I double click on this and notice I jumped over to the footage over here. It's not down here in my composition yet. I have nothing in my composition. It's still footage up here. So I'm going to press the space bar, let it render through, take a look at that. There we go. Okay, so these two little things right here, this one says this is where I want, this lets me mark where I want the video to start, and this one lets me mark where I want it to end. So set in, but I, I like the way it starts right here. Start right there, that's fine, and I'm going to drag it over to take a look where I want it to end. Smack right there. So this is where I want it to set out, therefore I'm going to come here and click on the set out point. Now I'm going to drag this down here. The really cool part is, is what that just did is that actually sectioned out that video, but it didn't trim it. So I can still come back and work with the rest of that video. Okay, when I take a look at this, now it's in composition, but you see this right here? This outline tells me this video is actually larger than the, um, the window pane that we're working with. So all I'm going to do is click on this, drag it down. It should keep its resolution for you. If it doesn't, drag it and hold shift and that will help with that. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. I'm going to just render this. I'll hear my clap. And good. It's still a little long on the end, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect on top of this layer. We're going to leave this layer alone. While this layer is selected, on a Mac, I'm going to press Command and D. If it's a PC, you can press Control and D. And that, all that does is duplicate it. So I duplicate my layer. I let it render again. It's good to let these bytes render. It helps. It doesn't mean that it won't work if you don't do it, but it helps to be more confident that it will work, especially if you're running on a computer that maybe has some space issues. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my effect. If, you, if my effect started, say, here, I would drag this all the way over here like this. But it's not. I want it to start right at the beginning. So I'm going to click right here and just to make sure that top layer is selected because that's the layer I'm going to add the effect on. I'm going to come up here to Effect. I'm going to go to Generate. And I'm going to generate some advanced lighting. All right, that's cool, but it really doesn't look the way I want it to look. So let's make it look the way I want it to look. Because right now, if I drag this across, it's just going to stay in one place just like that. And that's not cool. And not believable at all. So I'm going to do a couple of things over here in the panel. In the panel over here, this lets me edit the effects. And as you move on in After Effects, you can add several effects to the same um, video clip, which is really cool. So I'm going to use Strike. And I'm going to add a keyframe to origin and direction. And what that means is, at this point, these, these go hand in hand with where this is right now. At this point, I'm telling 
After Effects that I want my coordinates to start in a specific area. I'm telling it right here, it starts here. And then after here, when I move this over, and I see my hands move, I can change this and it will change accordingly because of that keyframe. So I kind of, my hands don't move around that much, it's a little bit goofy. There we go. Drag it around. And I need to just click right inside here. Some potential problems that could come up would be if you click somewhere other than on these actual targets, in which case you could end up moving the entire layer, and you don't want that, and you'll see it automatically. And if you do that, just hit Command-Z on a Mac and Control-Z on a PC. The other thing that might happen is sometimes After Effects has a tendency to change um, how far zoomed in or out you are. And you change that back right over here on the bottom left. So my hands are going to start to come in closer soon. I mean, for a four second clip, it seems like it takes a long time. So here we go. We're almost there. And now my hands are starting to come together. So this is really where I want to start to pay closer attention because if I'm going to have anybody believe this, I need to be careful, especially here. Whoa. In a little bit. Just like that. A little bit more, maybe a little bit ahead of it. And now that my hands are completely together, I put these dots, oopsie, just like that. I don't want it at 25%. I want it to fit the screen. I can put them right on top of each other. There. Not bad. Okay, let's take a look at it. So, here we go. Press spacebar. Wow, yeah, that looks good. Definitely believable. I think maybe that didn't happen. Good. Okay, after it renders the first time, it will work better the second time. There we go, and the timing actually looks right and with the sound, which also makes it more believable. So the final thing, well, not final thing, there's so many things you can do with this. So while I have my layer selected, I want you to notice up here, you can come in here to glow settings, and you can change the color of glow setting. If you want it to be yellow or red, whatever you want. I'm going to go with um, purple. And I also, okay, see how I moved my, um, my cursor and it switched this to 400%. Sorry to scare you with the close-up, but that's why I highlighted that that's how you fix this, is you come right over here to change the magnification. Um, you also can change the amount of glow opacity. So I'm not sure if you know opa what opacity is. Hopefully it is. You do. But I'm 100% opacity. You can't see through me. But if I was about you know, 10% opacity, you would be able to see through me to what's behind me. So you can change the opacity of the glow right there. You also might have a little bit of fun if you go through and you take a look at a lot of these things because you can change the core. And notice these little stopwatches are what give you, um, let you put in a keyframe. So you can change it as it starts and how, how it ends. You also can change the forking. You can change, you can take a look at what it looks like if it's that a little crazy, bouncy. Oh boy. So strike is kind of pretty basic. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is what we have. Oh, that must have been hot. Okay, it's rendering. It's taking a little bit extra time because it's rendering and the computer is putting all the pieces together right now. Once it does that, I'm going to finish this by I'm going to let it run through one more time. I see a little digital breakup there. That's a lot of you. Okay. So, there's the breakup. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, I'm going to trim this video. So, I am going to press Command and K, and I'm going to change this to, say, three seconds. Now, I, I don't know which video you choose to use, but you can change this to whatever you need, what works for you. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. Now we got to do something with this because nobody can use this unless other, they're a person that has After Effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File 
and I'm going to go to export add to render queue now when I add it to render queue this sets it up so that I can export it on the computer on, I'm on right now I am on a Mac so I can come in here and when I click on this it's gonna send it out as an MOV file which honestly is not the most universal it will work on Facebook it will work on lots of places however if you have an mp4 file it's going to work everywhere you can send that to um, you can send that wherever as an mp4 so I'm going to stick with this for now and I'm going to export this and I'm going to click save as a quick time movie but it's actually not saved yet I need to render it so right here render and it doesn't take that long to render actually and once it does it makes a pleasant little blinging sound and you will then be done. Then you'll find it wherever you put it and you can add it to your Facebook. There it is. You can add it. You can send it to your friends. You can brag about it to your kids. It's it's up to you. The options are limitless where you send it. So um, I hope you like that and have fun.